They argue the federal government's violating their constitutional rights to life, liberty, and property by enabling continued exploitation, production, and combustion of fossil fuels. I'm happy because I'm here. I'm happy to be with my friends again, and I'm happy to be suing the U.S. federal government. A few months ago, a decision came out of a small courtroom in Eugene, Oregon, that some people see as a first step towards saving planet Earth, or at least lining up forces so that humankind can take its best shot. We are standing for the billions of sentient and living beings that depend on this planet for health and life. We're saying there is something fundamentally wrong or missing about the way you guys are analyzing the situation because youth are a class of people that don't really have a voice in the political sector, but they will be the most affected by climate change. If we win this case, it will be revolutionary for environmental law. We want our government to be on our side and to acknowledge this is a real issue and to have a plan in motion. People will look at this generation as really the generation that was able to overcome one of the greatest issues that humanity has ever been faced with, this issue of climate change. Climate change is going to be the defining issue of our lifetimes, and this is going to be the trial of the century. That's just a taste of immense possibilities, our weekly series on inspired projects and people we want you to know about. See that click here link below? Good. That's where you click to watch this full episode to find out more about immense possibilities.